Right, I shouldn't have been here today. I had plans um, to go away today and tomorrow to do some family stuff. But anyway, I can't because it's snowing and it's dangerous on the roads and some of the roads are closed. So I'm just going to stay here and embroider and play with lace. Might concede to do a tiny bit of housework. We'll see how we go. But I thought, because I'm still here um, for my blog, I made a little video about this piece that was on yesterday. Mostly because somebody who's a regular on my blog and who I consider to be a friend of mine has asked me about... I put a picture on Instagram last night and on Facebook of this as it was being worked on uh, in less yesterday evening and there's metallic silk tissue in here and on the Instagram picture it looked quite shiny so the query was about that now I'm not really a shiny person I don't like clothes that shine or you know sequins or anything that glitters really it's not me but this white well silver metallic silk tissue just fits so well in with this lace and this white stitching that's going on on here and if I move about you can see that it's quite dark because there's a lot of snow falling as we speak but you can see how it does give off a reflection but really it just fits so beautifully almost silk like in with this lace and stuff that's going on so you know this is a piece of cloth that I've created myself and then that leads me to a different question now if I was to be asked have I ever taught how to do this I would say yes I would say if you've just done my alchemy class or if you've done my extending embellishment class then I would think that I've covered the process of creating these cloth this piece of cloth and pieces like it and this that piece of cloth is in the manner of this piece of cloth okay and it's also in the manner of this piece of cloth but then I got to thinking well maybe I haven't specifically covered how to create a piece of this cloth and then your em options for embellishing this cloth that I seem to have started creating I don't even know where it came from it came from nowhere really the wish the desire to do this um, so perhaps um, I've been asked, basically, I've been asked by somebody, well, by a few people, am I going to teach a class on how to make this cloth? And my answer was instinctively and immediately no, because the people that have asked me already know. I mean, at least I thought they knew. So now I'm thinking maybe there's a two-week class option in here somewhere. Um, and I'd be interested in your thoughts on that, whether you've done one of my classes before or not. A basic, I can't see that I could drag this out for longer than two weeks. I really can't see how I could. But maybe that's because it's instinctive to me and it's what I do and I know how to do it. And when I start to investigate, it might become more complicated. But I really can't see how that would be. But let me know what you think. Whether you think you'd be interested in a two-week class along these lines. Because I'm more than willing to do that. I mean, I need to earn a living. Um... You know, and I need to keep my momentum going and I need to always try and move myself forward in terms of my stitching and my blog and my online presence. So let me know, because um, it's not going to be any kind of hardship to me to keep making this, I can assure you. So that's, that's that what that's about. And also to clarify this shiny stuff in here for my good blog reading friend from Texas, you know who you are. Um, and it just fits and I think because you lay things over it it kind of dampens it and I'm so tempted it's, it's expensive it's not massively expensive I think it was £14 a metre which you can pay that for some plain cotton what's £14 in dollars let me think um, six six is six it's about $30 maybe a metre pass i mean i'm not a wonderful mathematician but putting 14 15 pounds into a currency converter and you'll get the dollar equivalent so i think i'm going to buy some more because i like how it fits in here it just kind of sings to me and i don't know that it would have fit in this one but see maybe it would because maybe it kind of fits alongside this applique i've done with my cross stitch fabric you know so there's potential there to, to move these things forward in a joint way perhaps it's something for me to consider so that's that and also while I'm here before I forget I had an email again from a very good friend in Texas about Square 
hoops for the machine because if you're using a round hoop your embroidery area is limited isn't it so if you had a square hoop it, you, you tend to think yes it would be better I've got one okay I'm gonna pull out of it I emailed her and told her I had one and said I probably won't be able to find it but there I found it somebody made these when I was at college and they were selling them and it's literally soft wood and it's flat okay so it will slide under your shank it's very flat this has actually come apart so we have to tape that together and the thinking behind that is that you just pin your cloth to it so you can pull it really tight and then pin it down and then work it on the machine so you've got a bigger area to stitch on and I'm so glad she sent me that mail because now I'm going to start using this again uh, I found it really quickly I didn't think I'd be able to find it and I think I've got another one somewhere a smaller one but you know perhaps you know somebody who could make you one of them it's quite thin I'd say it's a quarter of an inch uh, deep and then it will and you've got more of an area to work on on the sewing machine so I wanted to clarify that as well